So the Epstein documents have finally been revealed. And you have politicians and royalties, celebrities and business magnates, academics, even, what? And lawyers all involved in this mess. All of them documented and photographed by Jeffrey Epstein himself. Now he wasn't involved in this operation on his own. He had his partner Ghislaine Maxwell, I can never pronounce that name, the daughter of Mossad spy Robert Maxwell. And yes, you heard that right. Now you heard correct when I said Mossad. The thing is, Israel did not just conquer Gaza, it conquered America. You have important figures of the West being blackmailed by Jeffrey Epstein and his girlfriend, both of which have ties with Israeli government, with intelligence of Israeli government. This basically means is that America is compromised. You can see the Jews, the Zionists flexing their power. In the recent resignation of Harvard President Claudine Gay, she was replaced by a Jewish man, by a Zionist. Once she refused to impeach on the First Amendment rights given to the students for the pro-Palestinian protests, she was then forced to resign. According to Norman Finkelstein, when you see this phenomena that the president of Harvard is being removed by big money, then that means end of academic freedom. If the Zionists can control the presidency of academia, then they control the curriculum, they control the universities, they control everything. Then. You have President Biden. No president in history of America has received as much money from Israel as President Biden and he bypassed Congress. Congress! to sell armaments to Israel. Your money is paying for the genocide of Palestinian civilians, the women, the babies, babies in incubators, babies under rubble. All of those dead babies are by your tax money, you Western taxpayers. All of this is the unveiling of the reality of American democracy, the shattering of this false belief. The West is free, the democracy is free. All of it shattered by the Zionists. Billionaires like Elon Musk even had to bend their knee to the Zionists with him shadow banning and banning Twitter accounts that are pro-Palestinian like Lucas Cage, like many many pro-Palestinian figures whose followers have dropped, whose viewership has dropped. This is the end of democracy. I have those Epstein documents. Those are literally thousand pages long. So you'll have to wait for me to upload more videos about it, like this video and subscribe, comment your thoughts on this.